Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. This is going to be another quick tip for you guys. And I get this question quite a bit talking about the Good Samaritan Law. At least we, that's what it's called here in South Carolina. And from what I understand, most states do have some sort of law in this uh, to protect the average citizen when it comes to helping uh, medically wise. And what the Good Samaritan Law says is that if you're a non-healthcare provider and you're just doing the best you can for a patient and something happens and they die or they lose a limb, uh, that they can't sue you. But you know, if you do something gross negligence, of course, you're still liable. But if you're doing the best you can uh, from what little training you have, then you, they, you're protected. So because you pull over on the side of the road, you try to help someone that's bleeding, you try to hold pressure, um, and they end up dying, there's nothing that the, the family can do for you. Uh, you were doing the best you could, the best you know how to. If someone collapses in cardiac arrest and you start chest compressions, and for the unseen reason that person does not live, then you're protected by the Good Samaritan Law, at least here in South Carolina. Now, if you're on the side of the road and you start starting IVs, you start doing pleural decompressions and some other advanced skills, yes, you're practicing license without a medicine, without a license, you're practicing medicine without a license, and um, you can get sued for that. So, I hope this helps. I hope this clears some information up for you guys. Thank you for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Please like, share, and comment on this video.